right, I'm here with Butch and Grasshopper, and uh, we're gonna uh, we're going to uh, learn a little bit about bees today. All right. So Grasshopper's not his real name. Uh, he's Dwayne Hall. He's a firefighter for Black Dog Fire Department down by Turley. He's been wanting to learn bees, so for the last three years I've been mentoring him. First thing we're going to do is we're going to open a long Langstrom hive that Dwayne built. It's completely full of bees and we're kind of hoping we have honey today. Okay. So what's this uh, smoke that you're blowing? Smoke is just any kind of old wood, burlap, cotton. What it does is it basically tells the bees that, hey, there could be a fire somewhere close, and they'll usually run down into the hive and start eating, because, hmm. and it makes them more, a little bit more docile. Okay. See, we have lots of, in there. Have you ever wanted to hold a bee by your hand? Nope. So. That is a male bee. It's okay. called a drone. They do not have stingers. So most of these don't have stingers? Or no, just 99% of these do. Oh. Males don't have stingers. They just breed is the only thing they're good for. Okay. Uh, so how many hives do you have here on the farm? There's 12 on the farm, but we have 23 all together in different places. Okay. okay and, you, and you'll go, if somebody need, has one on their property, you'll go and take care of that? Yes, is that what yes you they need you? to, yeah. Okay. Okay, that's going all right, that one has a little bit of honey on it. You can feel it for weight. Okay. See, that's just a little bit. Okay, this one is about two thirds full of honey. Oh yeah, it's, it's like uh, 10 times as heavy. I'm gonna go show the camera that okay. a little closer. Okay, right, right on the edge is capped honey. Okay. And they always put honey close to... See that up close to you? I can hear it buzzing and... Uh, no. I, these are not mean at all. You can, I, camera can get right up next to it. I uh, am a little uncomfortable with this right now, but <laughs> to be quite honest. <laughs> what? I'm not sure about that part. Uh, uh, now my hands are covered and I can feel them, uh, their wings. Yes. They do a lot of fanning because that's how they send their pheromones everywhere. Just okay, them so off. We're going to shut this one up. They are starting to get a little agitated. Okay. They're Sounds starting to fly around you a little bit. They're yeah. starting to get closer. So how, how long have you been doing this? This will be my fifth year. Fifth year. So, because a while ago you didn't, you were doing this without a suit. So you're pretty comfortable with these guys. Uh, most of the time, yes. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I would suggest that you wear a suit now. <clears throat> All right. So how's that make the camera guy feel? He doesn't have a suit on. How you feel? Uh, praying. He circled you? Uh, yeah. Ones came and hit me. Usually they will, they'll almost always hit you first. <laughs> and that's just saying, hey, you're, you're in my space. And then all at once, they'll nail you. But see how they're starting to circle. You've got one landed on you, which don't worry about it. It's on you. I don't worry about the bees on you. <laughs> So you see now that Butch is not wearing gloves. I wouldn't advise that. <laughs> well, Butch is getting hot. He's about ready to take his suit off. Okay. We know this hive is good. There's a large quantity of bees. This is also a new hive for this year. Very doubtful that we'll get any honey. But if they do, we'll take it. Always try to put the frames back in the order that you take them out because like this has got babies in it. So you want the babies next to babies next to babies. This is another little bitty swarm we caught. You never know how they do. We put them in these small boxes. When this box gets really busy, we will take it and then we'll transfer it over to a big box. Look at the babies on this side. Wow, that's way over 2,000 babies. So within, I'm saying the next 10 days, 
this hive's probably going to double in size. If you buy queens, which there's companies that make them, you can get them marked. When you get the queen, they'll have a, a dot on them, and the dot has got a color, and it depends on what year. Every five years they change, or every year they change the color, and they reverse it every five years. So this year's white. So if you see a queen that's got a white dot, it's this year's queen. And okay, she got a dot right there. See how much bigger? Let me if you can zoom. We are looking at a queen bee. She's right here. Let me get it where you can see her. She just wanders the frame. What she's gonna do, she's probably go, she just walks around. The only difference is she's got a long abdomen. Got brood already. She's got seeds. And we'll take those with some bees and put them in there. Huh. And then add a to it. Okay. This was a right in our swarm. Oh. Yep. So their whole purpose is just to keep on keeping on, huh? They just, right, and uh, all they want to do is, uh, in the spring, they want to reproduce. Yeah. All right, well, we, we uh, took care of some bees and we, we got a good sweat going. It's early, but it's already hot. And so, uh, so Butch and Dwayne, I appreciate the uh, education and thank the opportunity you. and the- uh, Definitely, thank experience. you for coming out and helping learn, passing the word. You bet. Yep. Anybody that wants to, I've had several people come out, you know, suit up, go through a hive with me just to see what it's like. It's a great experience. I've had people want to learn bees so bad, come out and you open one hive and they've never come back. <laughs> <laughs> they just, no. So here you got your free bee swarm removal. If anybody has a bee problem, uh, look Butch up. And, and you get a free bottle of honey if I come and get your bees. There you go. And we tasted some honey and uh, it's good. It's good. So uh, again, yeah, appreciate it. And you got a beautiful property here and, and it's a great experience. Oh, appreciate it. All right. Thank you Thanks, for sir. Out.